Hi property entrepreneurs, we're at the Baker Street Property Meet. Tonight's theme is all about how to scale your property business and we're with three property entrepreneurs, extraordinary property entrepreneurs, who are all going to explore different aspects of that theme and guess what? All of their talks, all of this fantastic content is going to be on this YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, press the bell icon, we release new content each and every week to help you be more successful in property. And every time we upload, you'll get notified when we put out something new. But the best place to experience what we do here is to come and join us. What's all this about? How to scale your property business. First of all, Rod Turner, what are you going to be sharing with us tonight? Uh, well, I'm going to be sharing how to understand where your product sits on the market, what are the risks in terms of scaling, um, and looking at some due diligence aspects. And that's very important because it's not about just scaling up and grow, 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 grow. You've got to think about doing it safely and securely with both feet on the ground. And that's pretty much what your um, points are going to be about. Yeah, it? absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Fan. I'm really looking forward to that one. As I said, that video is going to be on this uh, channel as well. Uh, we're also joined by a business guru, author of Why Sell Tacos to Africa. That's the correct. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> it's a great book. It's a fantastic read. Um, for Paul Oversteiner, what are you going to be sharing with us tonight? So. Everybody knows there's a structural shortage of housing in the UK and Europe, actually, and a funding gap to boot. So there are two fundamental problems, and that funding gap is, well, there's capital and there's demand, and that's very poorly intermediated. So especially at this time in the cycle, where a lot of the capital, buckets of capital that came in to fill that gap are suddenly starting to retreat, we've seen what's happened in the, with Lendy and others. Um, Developers have to be very sure that they're putting out the right information for lenders and yes. funders. So they need to know how to package themselves and how to write up a proper deal memo. So we're gonna, what we're going to do tonight is go through the steps of what a deal memo looks like so that developers are better equipped when they approach lenders. And that's absolutely fantastic because, of course, uh, finance is the fuel of any growth of any property business. Paul, has, you've had years of experience of raising finance, and now you're in the position where you are facilitating um, uh, offering finance to property entrepreneurs. That's so that's great. going to be a fantastic uh, presentation. Uh, we've also got Romy Chopra. Uh, Romy, you've, you've um, uh, run a highly successful buy-to-let HMO um, portfolio, but now has kind of leapt out of that and started to scale up the business by getting into full-time property development. And you're going to be sharing with us some of the lessons learned. I mean, what are people going to get out of your talk? Tonight? Well, the, the key points I'm going to discuss really is that the transition going from a buy-to-let investor yes. through to developer is quite a big transition. There's a lot of uh, key things that one has to take into consideration, uh, different people you're working with, different mindsets. Work, financing, all sorts of aspects. So I'm going to be touching on a few of those points just to sort of handhold people a little bit through the process because it is quite a big leap, uh, but I, I think it's one where I think I would encourage any um, entrepreneur or anyone who's been in buy-to-let or HMO portfolio, anyone in that who wants to get into the development side of things to, to take that leap because I think it's the it best time you'd ever get involved in development and certainly I'm looking to do more in the future and hopefully some of the key learning points I'll discuss this, after this evening, they can take those forward and hopefully apply those in their journey going I'm forward. I'm sure people will be very inspired by all our three speakers. As I said, the theme is how to scale your property business. We're tackling it from three different angles. There's going to be a Q&A panel at the end and you are going to be able to watch all these videos on this YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we upload new content. But better still, come and join us at next month's Meet. Details are at bakerstreetpropertymeet.com and enjoy the videos. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit the bell icon. As soon as we upload, we'll let you know. 
and enjoy these. They're all dedicated to helping you be more successful in property. Happy investing!